Okay, okay. Um, us, we have a panel here of three political experts. This is Isaiah Hoy, I'm Joel Belkamp, this is Piper Kachera, and we're at the Iowa Caucus Eve, and we're here wondering why are there only two parties that are ever considered realistically for the presidential election? I'm just going to put this out there. Please. Personally, I feel for Green Party. Green Party? Green Party because we get some press, but the press that we get, it's always negative. It's always sarcastic. It's always mock. Mm -hmm. We never get a full, strong representation. That is so true. And people are so dissatisfied with the state of American politics today. It seems strange that we should keep the status quo of only two parties, who everyone seems to hate. Agreed. So do we have to have three parties, or do we have five parties? Well, here's the thing. Instant runoff voting. When people get to choose three choices for candidates, and they have no candidate wins a majority, the lowest candidate gets all their top votes tossed out, and their second choice to get counted. That would allow third parties to break in, because people who like Ralph Nader could vote for Ralph Nader, and not just have to swallow down and vote for Al Gore. Who likes Ralph Nader? Five percent of the American population. You know what? I find your opinion shallow and pedantic. Really? Yes. Perhaps you could explain yourself. Well, pretty much. For one thing, having this runoff theory, that's not a true representation, because the people who have their part votes cast out think, why should I go back? Because if my votes will just get locked out again, and it won't matter. Why do you hate America? I don't hate America. Yes, you did do. I, did I say You that? hate America. Did I say hate everything I hate that we stand for. Everything our I have ancestors fought said, and died for. I have not once said that I hate America. This is disgusting. I can't even look at it. Boys, boys, we don't need to be arguing. I have not once said I hate America. I am the most American American that I know. Ms. Kishere, what do you think? Not about him, but about their parties. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I think we should just have a write-in ballot for the whole thing. And not have any campaigning? No, no campaigning at all. It would take away all of this nasty commercials you get on TV, all of this back talk, all of that. Just have, you know, that's it. Or, but then you, or but, have but, campaigning, but, but have it on the internet, like YouTube or Google. And just have all internet campaigning, because then you don't have to watch it on TV. I you agree. just go to it. I agree. And but this will increase clean the airwaves. But this will increase the surplus of pop-ups, unwanted pop-ups, spam, and spyware. That's why you get pop-up blockers. Yes. And Those make it illegal. If campaign, if <laughs> there ought to be a law. Sorry. Against politics. If politicians are trying to advertise, they will hire people who can figure out codes and crack codes to get around spyware, to get around spam blockers. You're right, but then those politicians should be kicked out of the race. Definitely. How is there a way to trace it? It's the same way that uh, Scarface Alfonso Capone got away with the Valentine's Day massacre. Right. Everyone knows that he killed him, but okay, they had so no way to legally link him to those murders. Hence, he walked. Okay, so conclusion to our third party discussion is that politics Yay. is like Scarface, a bloody battle. Absolutely. Bad. And run off voting. Is bad. Is good. Bad. You hate America. I hate you. I know you do. Thank you.